Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seed. Werner Tobin on the Corn School today, down at Carney Planners, joined by Sean Dillia. Sean, how's it going? Good. How are you, Werner? I'm good, sir. Um, thank you for taking the time. A busy time of year for you. You got a lot of corn planters, a lot of people getting prepped for the season. It's early March. Um, I want to talk to you today about meters, uh, testing and maintenance. Such a key part of your spring success. It is, really. And we do a lot of meters in the meter room. And for us to get a meter that we think is acceptable, it's got to be 98.5% or better. If it's not, we continue to rework it until we get to those levels. Mm. Now, you mentioned we're here in the meter room. You've got a whole bunch of things we want to look at. I want you to dig in there and give us some tips. You ready for that? I'm ready. First thing we want to talk about in corn, there's two types of meters available. One is a mechanical meter. One is a vacuum meter or an air meter. Mechanical meters are what we mostly work on in this room to get them up to today's standards. This is a mechanical finger pickup. This is sold by John Deere, Kinsey, and Precision Planting. We mostly use precision planting parts because we feel that we get a lot better results from the test stand. The meter is simple. It consists of a backing plate right there. It consists of a set of fingers right there and a belt assembly that is on the other side and out the bottom. The seed simply sits in a container in here. The meter goes around, picks the seed up, drops it down into the belt, which delivers it down the seed tube. The problem lies is when we get excessive wear in either the fingers or the plate. And we also find that because of the specialty work that Precision has done on these parts, we could deliver better results even with three brand new meters, a Kinsey, a Deer, or a Precision, the Precision will deliver better results. We, take, we can take your existing meter, John Deere or Kinsey, and we can add parts to it to get the results better. It is very normal for us to get somebody to bring in a set of meters that haven't been done in quite a few years and only run results in the low 90s or even high 80s. The, the money being wasted in your field is exceptional. When we get done the meter, it's got to be 98.5 or better, and the majority of time we're in the 99 range. So the results are dramatic. So if you simply do the maintenance on it and we test it, it will show in the field with a picket stand. The next type of meter is a vacuum meter. There's countless different brands of those. We test pretty well all of them. Um, we've got some examples here. Most people think there's not a lot of maintenance to do to a vacuum meter, which is true, but there is a few things to look for. One of the big things we're seeing the last few years is people running them too many years and the seal on the back of them cracking. And in this particular meter, this is a seal. So if you're planning away and everything's good and all of a sudden one row goes away, it's probably, it could be you have something in the plate, but odds are your seal could be damaged. Once your seal is damaged, the vacuum goes away and your meter cannot perform. So there is some maintenance to do. This particular meter also has an ejector and that ejector has to be in good shape and that po pokes little pieces of trash back out of the disc that could get stuck in there, such as a seed coat or um, a tip. Sometimes tips do get stuck. All vacuum meters have some form of singulation to speak of and they have little parts and pieces inside that do get worn after a lot of years, but you're strictly, uh, most times your wear factor is much less in a vacuum meter than in a mechanical meter. And of course, there's, you see that there's all different styles. This one's a John Deere, the last one was a Kinsey, and there's also update kits for certain meters such as John Deere to make them better. This is a precision vacuum meter. So we deal with all kinds of vacuum meters we do the maintenance on them, we do the testing on them, but we also do specialty crops. It's not just corn, but it's so important in today's corn prices and the cost of seed to get the results and that picket stand so that you don't have doubles and you don't have misses. Another thing we do here at Carney's, when you bring your meters in, one of the first things we're gonna do after we check to make sure they're operable is we're gonna run them on the test stand. All our testing is free of charge and that way we find out what the results are and what your particular meter may need. After they're tested on here using your parameters, which is your population, your speed, your, your seed type, 
all those things, uh, row width, then we get a result, we know where a baseline is. We then tear the meters apart, repair them, rerun them as a calibrated test, and if they don't pass, and if we're not happy with the results, we continue to adjust them, and we continue to make improvements. When we're done, we give the customer a printed copy of the results so he can see each individual row, what they've done before and what they've done after. A very important part of maintenance in today's world, especially with rising seed costs. So a couple final thoughts on meters. We want you to remember that in corn, the cost of the parts and the cost of the repair is gonna far be less than what it is going to cost you in the field on lost uh, yield and on extra seed costs. So just remember that it could cost you as much as $150 to redo a meter with the proper parts and get good results, but the payback is very quick, sometimes less than one season. And a lot of these meters can go multiple seasons uh, in between maintenance. So let's just keep in mind that we need to be diligent about this, keep your meters up, and always be willing to uh, take a look at where your costs are and, and a good rate of return on your investment.